Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will continue on my recurring tasks series. So I've created a list, a SharePoint list called Task Templates, and I've created a task to-do list. So these are the tasks that are ready to do for this day. And I've created a flow that fills in the tasks to do based on these templates. So those are the previous demos. Now I'm going to create a mobile phone app in Power Apps to actually let you update and say that you've done these tasks. So let's go in to Power Apps and do that. If you can't find it under your recent ones, you'll find it here. So let's go into Power Apps and I'm going to create a new, here we go, create. It's going to be a blank app and it's going to be a blank canvas app. Let's start from scratch and it's going to be on the phone tasks to do. Create. So I'm going to create a gallery. Now we have a gallery and it's going to, I'm just going to connect that to a data source, another one. So I'm going to um, have my connector. I have my connector in SharePoint here. And it's going to be this site here, communication site. And here's the task to do. That's what I'm going to show. I'm going to connect to that. And as you see, it's picking up the, the title from the task to do list. I'm going to change this so that it's only the title. Uh, let's zoom in a bit so that we can see what we're doing. And then we're going to just uh, change it so that it's not so bold. We don't need that, but we can insert a little header. Let's uh, select this screen there and select outside the gallery. Now I am outside the gallery and just do a label. Let's just call that tasks so that we see what we're doing to do. We're not going to use an edit screen, so I'm just going to do visible off on that one. But instead I'm going to do a toggle. So I'm going to insert a toggle. there and let's just skip the labels on that one take it to the right there we go we can make it slightly smaller like that and we're going to set the default value of that so that's where the data source that it's connected to that's going to be the uh, uh, this item done all right that makes sense because it's a boolean value right this warning we're in a uh, don't have to worry about that one. If I refresh this now, it's going to work just fine. Uh, here, the daily cleanup is indeed done. All right, so let's uh, edit that in grid view. And take it away from done. And do another one, more work. Let's see, say that one is done. Now let's save that one. And to see this information now, I can go into the data source and refresh the data source. And now you see I get two of them there, one that's done and one that's not. But I'm also going to add a reload icon up there. Let's put that one up there. Oh, there we go. And that doesn't reload automatically. It's, uh, I need to put some code in here. So refresh the task to do, which is my only connection that I have in here. Great, so now I can do that. So let's just test that everything works here. I'm gonna deselect that one, that one is not done. And make, then go back to my Power Apps, run it, play there, and refresh. Great, okay, so now everything's working. Now I just need to add some more code so that when you actually flip one of these toggles, then it saves it back. So I'm going to go on on select. That's the action. Then we're going to do patch. And we're going to select what, what do we want to patch? We want to pass patch the task to do. Uh, which item? This item, of course. That's the item that we want to update, the one that's being clicked. The value that we want to update is in square brackets this is an object that we're updating so i'm going to update the done the done value so a colon 
and then we're going to take the, the value of this toggle one, which is the name of the toggle that I put in there, and the value of that. That's what we're going to update. So patch the SharePoint list with this value. All right, so let's see if this works now. Again, we're going to uh, play it. There we go. So there we go. Let's uh, refresh this now and let's see what happens. Yes, it's got saved. All right, great. Two more things that I want to do. I want to make that slightly more visible that this actually got saved. So I'm going to add another row of code here. Notify. Uh, task saved. Like that. And just semicolon to mark that you're doing the end of a row. So there's two actions there. Great. Um, so let's uh, try that one out. There you go, task save. We get a little notification there. Beautiful. And next thing I want to do is I actually want to, we don't care about the tasks that we've already done. So I'm going to filter this whole thing, this whole gallery. So let's find the gallery there, gallery. So the items, I'm going to filter that. And I'm going to have the done equals false. Those are the ones I'm going to show. Now they're none of them, so that makes sense. So let's go into the communication site. And let's see, refresh this. Yeah, now they're both done. Edit in grid, grid view. Take them away. They're not done. All right. So in Power Apps, we refresh this, use this button that we had. Great. And now we get that task saved and it got disappeared and it disappeared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So that concludes my demo. We have uh, uh, two SharePoint lists. We have a flow and we have a power app that we can use. Now, of course, all I need to do is to publish this and uh, share it with users that want to use this, of course. There we go, publish this version, great. And then we can share it with users internal or external to, to our organization and um, let people update their tasks. Thank you for watching this demonstration.